Operation Reach was to target uh, rough sleepers who were causing problems in and around town centres throughout the 32 boroughs. And I was asked to lead on that project. Uh, rather than the normal approach of going around and arresting uh, the, the rough sleepers and the beggars, uh, we decided in Haverhill to adopt a new strategy based around the Diamond Initiative of support, engage and encourage. These rough sleepers uh, congregated around the town centre area, particularly the transport hub, and had for a number of years been involved in antisocial behaviour and crime within that location. We spoke to a number of partner agencies, including the bus companies, the uh, local landlords and shopkeepers, uh, commuters, to try and identify the scale of the problem. And it became very apparent that because the rough sleepers had been allowed to entrench themselves within that location, uh, they were seen as part of the fixtures and fittings. All the capable guardians that should have been taking action were just ignoring them. And it became such a problem that CCTV would be actually put on the street uh, sleepers to ensure that they weren't assaulted. So we decided that we would write a standard operating procedure to be given to police officers so that if they came across a rough sleeper or someone begging within the town centre bus hub, then they would have to do something. The location had suffered a lot of uh, regeneration and therefore we couldn't really do a lot about the location. The offenders were the street drinkers themselves uh, and they were also partly the victims. So we decided that we had to remove those street drinkers, street sleepers and beggars from the town centre. And by creating a profile uh, with history of what their offending behaviour was, then we were able to tackle the problem. And using the bus drivers, uh, using all the capable guardians, having the approach that if someone came across uh, a rough sleeper or a beggar, reporting it back to us allowed us to get in there quickly and resolve the problem. And we worked quite closely with the Christian Beath faith groups uh, and set up a referral program whereby the rough sleepers could go to a location and then be referred into a night shelter that was set up. We not just shelter people, um, we help house them and connect them to the other um, agencies that are helpful and the beauty of the rough sleeping strategy group is that immediately um, we had a referral mechanism and also a support mechanism for the people that we were encountering. I lived on the streets in Romford for kind of nearly on and off for three years. I got friendly with a young policeman called PC Dave Bunn um, who's told me he's got a rough sleepers program project thing. Um, it took him a while to get me in there. Um, I've uh, failed a few times. I've um, had a few hires at the same time. But I'm now at um, Veterans Aid. The police done so much for me. I just, it's just unbelievable what they've done. Um, I've been drug free for five months. Um, I'm, like I say, now I'm at Veterans Aid. I can, I can start my life again. It's, it's just a wonderful thing that's happened to me. One of the biggest issues we had was the problems on buses. We had a particular issue of, particularly in the cold weather, where they would either go into the British Rail Station or climb on board a bus. Uh, to try and get out of the cold weather and then they, because of their drunken states they'd urinate, soil the seats and the bus would be taken out of service. We had some problem with homeless persons getting on the bus and damaging the bus, i.e. breaking windows, in order for the police to turn up just to give them a roof for the night. Well now, since the police intervention, all this seems to have stopped. There has been a dramatic reduction in these kind of incidents and it's now also proved to be good source for the drivers now to work alongside the safer transport team as all problems seem to be addressed rather quickly. One of the partnership uh, aspects of it is Asda, the local supermarket, gave us six mobile phones so that we could give them to the rough sleepers so that we had some sort of contact with them so at least we had a phone number for them to ring. The Salvation Army who have been fabulous, allow people in there to have a shower that uh, we use them as a, a reception point. The Salvation Army is the biggest provider of housing for homeless people in the UK, particularly in London, but not in Havering. 
Havering has absolutely nothing, not just from our own uh, agency, but from other agencies as well. That problem was removed. We now have an, a, a night shelter, which lo hopefully long term will be a full-time facility for, for the borough, which will cope with and help develop the youngsters and the, 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 the older folk who, who come within the, their remit. So we work with the council around issuing tickets for littering and we're one of the first boroughs in London to be issuing those tickets on behalf of the, the local authority. Lots of hard work have gone into this project. No funding whatsoever has come into the project. It's been done with what resources are available. And the local authority had nothing in place before we came into this. Nothing whatsoever. There were no referral processes, no night shelters. Uh, rough sleepers were just abandoned on the street to their own volition. And uh, this project has been so well organised and we've got buy-in from so many different organisations, particularly around our strategy group meeting which we have, that we could pick this project up and place it in any borough within London and I'm very confident that that would be a success. Although uh, Havering is a low crime borough, the fear and perception of crime was quite high and that was being sort of exacerbated by the fact that rough sleepers were seen quite often. Since the initiation of the Rough Sleepers initiative, uh, this has been drastically reduced. We no longer have issues with rough sleepers, beggars, or any problems of that nature. This is how, how, how effective this project is. It's not just dealt with the problem of rough sleeping, it's now starting to deal with emotional and personal problems that these rough sleepers are. They're back in work, holding down jobs. Some of them, their lives have been transformed, not just materially and socially, uh, but from a Christian perspective too. Some of them have come into faith. Their lives have been totally transformed. To see folk with no hope, no self-esteem um, whatsoever, suddenly discover their of value and their esteem comes back. They're valued and loved by other people. They start to love and value themselves. I've now got a job. I've now moved in my own home. And also I'm employed by Hope Raven, which I now give back to what they've done for me. It gave me a lot of faith back in humankind. Yeah, more confident than everything. I was uh, made homeless, got involved with drugs. Um, I was sort of picked up by the, by the Rough, Rough Sleepers Project. Um, they got me somewhere to live gave me someone to talk to, fed me, um, got me accommodation, um, I've now got somewhere to live, sort of get my life together, and they still um, still giving me support. If it hadn't been for them helping me, I'd just be floating about, getting in trouble, still doing drugs. Um, saved me life, yeah, definitely saved me life. We've offered them support and we've offered them pathways to get away from their offending behaviour and their addictions. And unfortunately, if we could join up all the statutory agencies to work the way we have, then these problems wouldn't escalate and get out of hand. And uh, that's testament really to my staff who've worked tirelessly to engage these people. And it hasn't been easy, some of them have told us where to go. Some of them have, have been over friendly, telling us one thing and doing something completely different. And also down to the, 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 the third sector, mainly the Christian based uh, charities that have played a fundamental part in getting where we are now.